Hello everyone, through this short video I want to further illustrate the ability for you to use Pinterest as a content curation and archive and resource. Furthermore, this video serves to demonstrate there is more to Pinterest than just cooking recipes and home decor ideas. For this example, I'm using Dr. Kevin Oliver. He has a really cool Pinterest profile where he has created boards for each of the classes that he teach. Dr. Oliver is an associate professor at North Carolina State University where he teaches digital learning and teaching and he also teaches learning design and technology for their doctoral program. Okay, so let's get to it. As you can see right here in his profile, he has created boards, Pinterest boards, for almost all of the classes that he teaches or probably all of the classes that he teaches. Uh, one of the things that I want to show you is this, for example, ECI 509. As you can see, he has 280 pins in this board, and when we go inside of it and open it, you can see all of the different things that he's sharing, probably with his learners, or just with anyone that happened to stop by his profile. Now, having said that, let's go back, and I want to show you something else. Because one of the things, as you can see, this board right here, ECI 515 cybersecurity. He has icons for like two little people in here in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, now we can see that this board is actually shared with 15 other people. Now, these 15 other people, one could assume, are learners in one of his classes. Another interesting thing about this board is the fact that you can gather some other information just by looking at the board, right? As you can see here, I got the share window open. And what I want to talk about is the fact that you can share the whole board by email. You can share with some of your contacts on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook Messenger, or just the URL link to that board. Another thing that we can gather from here is that DeVore has 61 followers. So although he has 15 people that he's sharing the board with, actually 61 people is following what's going on in this board. So not only does this allow you to increase your chances for collaboration, it also opened the window for networking opportunities because, as a matter of fact, that's how me and Dr. Oliver met because he started painting some of my paints and I was like, hold up guy, why are you painting all of my paints to your boards? Now, as you can see, this is one of the ideas that I was explaining to you guys in the post because this allows you as an online instructor to gather resources throughout the course of five weeks, six weeks, or eight weeks, depending how long the courses at your institution are. And then at the end of that course, you can choose to either completely wipe the slate and delete everything inside that board, or you can continue to add resources to that board where they become reusable learning objects. And then to expand on that, the boards by themselves become learning repositories. So just imagine the possibilities because everything that you have in here that you're sharing with your learners can now be shared with other learners in future courses. Now I hope you find this video useful and that you can use it to kind of pick up ideas on some of the things that you can do with Pinterest for education. As I mentioned in my post, the only thing that is limiting you from using Pinterest as a resource for education is your imagination. Okay, so start painting, start creating boards, and continue to learn. I hope you like the video. Thanks.